at it. Good morning, beloveds. Um, <laughs> it's Wednesday. We got up. We went to the gym. The guy in front of us had canceled. And he reset his alarm and it didn't take. Which meant we were there and he was not awake. So, uh, which, I mean, he got up and we got the workout and now we're all just running late. What have you. But, we saw the sun today. <laughs> After, you know, what a week. The sun is out. I know we still have a 30% chance of rain, but we might get through the rain. We might get through the day without any rain today. Um, it is May 26th. Our title is I lift up my cup of acceptance knowing the divine outpouring fills it to the brim. The Bible quote is God is able to make all grace abound toward you that ye having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. Uh, that is 2 Corinthians 9, 8. Give me just a minute. If I'm going to read this, I need to be able to see it. Much better. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> we, lift, we lift up our cup of acceptance to the divine bounty when we think affirmatively and with gratitude to the giver of all life. Daily we should practice affirming that our cup is filled and running over. Always remembering that what we affirm for ourselves, we must affirm for others. Living and letting live, giving and receiving, loving and being love, our cup of acceptance will be filled from the horn of God's abundance. I am living in the continual expectancy that every good thing in my experience sh shall be multiplied. There is neither doubt nor uncertainty in my mind. Every denial is transformed into an affirmation. Every negation into an acceptance. Every no into a yes. I know that Spirit of God has made me and I breathe and the breath of the Almighty is has given me life. I have complete confidence in this Spirit. I know that I am loved of it and needed by it. I feel at home with it. Today is filled with blessing for myself and others. The past is gone, and gladly I and I glad. Hmm. Today is filled with blessings for myself and others. The past is gone, and I gladly loose it and let it go. The present is filled with peace and joy, and fu the future with hope. Gratefully, I accept the presence of love and divine givingness, and gladly I extend this love and givingness to everyone I meet. I am made whole. With the wholeness of spirit, gently, but with great certainty, I am guided into right action and successful accomplishment of all good desires. This I accept, this I experience. Okay. I'm not sure. I lift up my cup of acceptance and then, because I remember this from last year from the other book, uh, how big is your cup of acceptance? Are you holding up a thimble? Are you holding up a cup? Are you holding up a bucket? How big is your cup of acceptance? Because God's horn of plenty is infinite and God will continue to pour into your cup until it's full and if your cup is little, it'll fill up faster, but you won't have as much to then go and do. And I find it interesting that they paired it with the Bible quote, God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye, having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. Which I was like, okay, so how big is your cup of acceptance? Because God will fill your cup up so that you can go and do. Whatever it is that you are going to go and do. And it's not talking about, I'm going to use the, the four-letter word, work. Um, 
I think it's talking about the other kind of work that we do. Uh, that which brings beauty and love and truth and creativity into the world. Uh, it's your passion. Now, if the work that you do is your passion, then so and just the, the, the pair, it's like God is pouring this energy into you to do this, to do, to live your passion. So what is your passion? Because if you don't know what your passion is, that might explain why your cup of acceptance isn't that big. So if you go back and figure out what your passion is, you'll probably have a bigger cup of acceptance. It's just something to think about. It's just the, the, the pairing of the, the Bible quote uh, from 2 Corinthians and the title. And it, it, it leads me to wonder when people have such small cups of acceptance, is it because they are not living their passion? They're not doing the work that feeds them. They're not doing the work that feeds their, their God nature. Their, their, you know, I mean, a whole lot of us, we've all been there. We've all done work because we needed the money, but it wasn't what we wanted to do. And it was hard. Hmm. Okay. It's just a thought, just a thought and a meditation. So we lift up our, we lift, we lift up our cup of acceptance to the divine bounty when we think affirmatively and with gratitude to the giver of all life. That's absolutely affirmative treatment, positive thinking, um, and positive thinking does not necessarily negate the conditions that we're looking at, but it accepts that there is something beyond those conditions that we are currently working through. Uh, so daily we should practice affirming that our cup is filled and running over, always remembering that we affirm for ourselves, we must affirm for others, what we affirm for ourselves. Absolutely. I want my cup to be full and I want everybody else's cup to be full because if everybody else's cup is full, then we all get to go and do things that bring beauty into the world. Um, and that looks like engineering and that looks like building roads and it looks like all of that too. Um, it's not just painting pictures. I mean, how many are, uh, how many engineers do you know, know that absolutely create things of beauty? Um, architects create things of beauty. Construction workers create things of beauty uh, because they create things that make the world work for everyone. They're absolute construction workers are absolutely artists. Uh, living and letting live, giving and receiving, loving and being loved, our cup of acceptance will be filled from the horn of God's abundance. Which is infinite. It will never run out. But we can, and frequently do, limit how much we are accepting. And that comes back to turning off the flow for ourselves, getting in our own way, um, or just having a really small cup. So, I am, I am, and it's capital, I am, all those, all of those are capital. I am living in the continual expectancy that every good thing in my experience shall be multiplied. Look for the good and praise it. Look for the good and it will be multiplied. It's the way it works. Absolutely the way it works. Uh, there is neither doubt nor uncertainty in my mind. And if there is, then I immediately deny the doubt and uncertainty and know that the good will be multiplied. And I say that to myself. Every denial is transformed into an affirmation, every negation into acceptance, every no into a yes. So basically when I'm hit with the but, I look at the rest of the sentence and I flip it. But. No. No, no buts. This is the way it is. This is the way it is. 
because I am a beloved child of God and, not but, and. I know that the Spirit of God has made me and the breath of the Almighty has given me life. I have complete confidence in this Spirit. I have complete confidence in, in this Spirit. Can you look yourself in the eye and say that? I have complete confidence in, my, in this Spirit. The breath of the Almighty has given me life. Can you say that? And if you cannot, then that gives you something to work on. That gives you something to work on. Because the God that, uh, that, that many religions have told you about is an incomplete picture. I'm not going to tell you that it's wrong. What I'm going to tell you is that it's an incomplete picture. There is so much more to God, the living Almighty, you know, the spirit, than any one religion can even think to tell you. I know that I am loved of it and needed by it. You are loved by it and needed by it because it made you. You are here for a purpose and that purpose is to experience life. There's no grand purpose. You don't have to go cure cancer. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. Your purpose is to live and to grow and to love. And the Spirit needs you to do that. I feel at home with it. I feel at home with it. I feel at home with the Spirit. Today is filled with blessing for myself and others. The past is gone. And I gladly loose it and let it go. Principle is not bound by precedent. That's why we are letting go of the past. If it hasn't been working in the past, then I got to let that go. I got to let the past where it didn't work go. Because principle isn't bound by precedent. Which means it can work now. If I'm willing to let go of all the times that it didn't work. I'm, if I'm willing to let go of that. And, and, and be guided into a different path or a different manner, if I am willing to let spirit do that, then principle isn't bound by precedent. It can work this time. The present is filled with peace and joy and the future with hope. Gratefully, I accept the presence of love and divine givingness and gladly I extend this love and divine give and giving this to everyone I meet. What I want for myself, I want for everyone. And the reason being is because that power is flowing through me. And if I'm holding on to it, then only so much is coming in. But if I'm letting it flow out to do its work in the world through me, then a whole lot more power is going to flow through me. And I'm going to benefit from the flow of the power rather than the backup of the power. Because if I try and staunch that flow, it's going to back up and it's going to come out sideways. But if I let it flow through me out into the world, I'm going to touch so much more. You are going to touch so much more when you let it flow through you. I am made whole with the wholeness of spirit. You are made whole with the wholeness of spirit. Gently, but with complete certainty, I am guided into right action and su successful accomplishment of all good desires. So gently, but with complete certainty, you will be guided. You are guided into right action and successful accomplishment of all good desires. If we do this with love in the qualities of God, we can't help but succeed. This I accept, this I experience. All right, beloveds. So our mission today, should we choose to accept it, is to live in continual expectancy that every good thing in our experience will be multiplied. Every good thing will be multiplied. It doesn't mean that we won't face challenges, but it means that the challenges will be that, but the good will be multiplied. The challenges will not be multiplied because we're going to focus on the good.
We're going to focus on the solutions. We're going to focus on all of that. All right, beloveds. I am going to go and dry off because <laughs> the humidity is still really high. It may not be raining, but the humidity is still really high. Uh, and move into the process of my day. And I'm going to encourage you, as I always do, do something loving for yourself. Do something kind for yourself. Do something compassionate for yourself. Whatever that looks like today. I do encourage you to do something to engage your mind and your body. <clears throat> um, today for me, that was to go to the gym. And I got to do some of the same things that he had me do last week that I really struggled with last week. And this week, I got it. I was able to do it. So, you know, and, and counting while you're in the gym is actually harder than you think. So it definitely engaged my mind and my body today. I guessed a lot. It's like, have I done enough? Let me do one more just to make sure. But um, drink some water. Drink some water. Know that you're a beloved child of God in whom God is well pleased. Always and forever. Always and forever. And I know that it is hot out there, so you don't necessarily have to open your windows. But I would encourage you, open the windows of your soul. Allow the breath of heaven to remind you, you do live in heaven now. It takes conscious awareness to look around, to see the good, and to praise it. As we look around and see the good, we'll find more. Because when we see it, it multiplies. That was the whole purpose of today, to know that your good multiplies. Always. Always. All right, beloveds. Do what you need to do to make it a good day, or a wonderful day, or a fantastic day, or a rest day, which can be wonderful, fantastic, and good all at the same time. Um, but do what you need to do to take care of yourselves. All right, beloveds. Uh, it is Wednesday, so I know that Reverend David will be on Facebook Live around 5 p.m. with you. Uh, and there is the, I think there's, I'm pretty sure they're still doing the book study, uh, the living science of mind. So if you're interested in that email info at creativelife.org, that's being done on zoom. So, you, and that's, you can join anytime, drop in, drop out. Um, but it's a fantastic book. And then I will be back on Facebook live with you at 9am tomorrow ish <laughs> ish. Um, but I will see you in the morning, and as always, these talks are archived on the Running Rev Ryan YouTube channel. So feel free to go look them up. Uh, there's a year's worth of material up there, more than a year's worth of material up there now. So whatever you're looking for, I might have one, because they covered a wide, ra wide range of talks in 365 Science of Mind, and they're doing the same in this one. All right, beloveds, have a wonderful day, and know that you're loved.